An abysmal failure to protect and serve. That's what a judge told a former Loveland police officer who failed to stop the violent arrest of a woman with dementia. This is the second officer to be sentenced for the arrest of Karen Garner. As our Dylan Thomas explains, she's also the first former police officer to be convicted under Colorado's new failure to intervene law. For the first time here in Larimer County, a former officer was convicted of failure to intervene and sentenced to jail time for her lack of actions when it came to the arrest of Karen Garner. The district attorney here in Larimer County saying this should send a message to law enforcement and the community that everybody will be held to the standards of the law. The community demands we hold those things accountable. The law demands we hold those things accountable. And we are absolutely going to hold people accountable. Daria Jalali, the second Loveland police officer to respond to the forceful arrest of Karen Garner, was strongly reprimanded by the judge for failing to treat Garner with human decency. After after realizing she was not only badly injured, but also suffering from mental illness. He probably spent, you know, 15, 20 minutes really reprimanding her for her actions. The judge told Jalali her actions made him sick to his stomach, calling her an abysmal failure as an officer. Failure, failure. She failed in every aspect of what she did. And that was one word that he said that I was like, that's exactly it. It sums up the whole thing. She failed. Garner's family sat in the front row as Jalali learned her fate, beginning with jail time. I still, you know, may not feel that she's as remorseful, but I think it's going to set in pretty quick. Now, with both former officers incarcerated and $3 million in settlements, the family is turning their focus to reform within the department. So I'm not done. This isn't over. And there's still more reform that needs to take place. After her 45-day sentence is served, she will then have to serve 36 months on probation, must maintain a job for at least 35 hours a week, and also do 250 hours worth of community service. The judge also ordering that she undergo a mental evaluation. In Larimer County, Dylan Thomas covering Colorado First.